Thank you for joining me today on Your Dad Academy. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use Zoom for e-learning. Please like and subscribe to the channel because we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you have a PC, you're going to go to zoom.us. And when you do, you just sign up. And once you follow the easy directions, you go to sign in, you put the email address that you would use uh, with the teacher and you'll have your own password and you sign in. You also can use Gmail or Facebook if you would like, but your email address should be better. If you have an iPhone, you go to the app store, just type in Zoom in the search and it'll pop up right here. Choose this one and get and you're going to be asked for your Apple ID and you'll download it. Once you download it, you open the app and you go here. Your teacher will email you the access code to access it. It will probably be a meeting code and sometimes a pin that you'll have to put in. So you're going to hit join and then you're going to be prompted to put in the code that you need. So I've started a meeting on my other device. So I have the code and this would be either emailed to you or sent to you however way that you've told the teacher to contact you. You put in the meeting code and one, two, three, boom, you're in just like this. So you can select the how you want your audio to work. And so there I am if I'm the teacher and I'm also there as the student at the same time because I'm using two of my own devices. And so right here, I'm gonna set up this one camera to look at Wolfie right here. And so I will be the teacher in the bottom corner. And so you can choose how you want to see either the student blown up real big or you can just click on the little box right here and you can also just blow up the teacher which is probably what you want to do unless you want to be staring at yourself. So you have these options of how you appear on the screen that you're looking at and so you're going to go through the different options on the screen right now. By now the teacher is teaching already. Uh, there's different chat options. You can wave, thumbs up, clap, raise your hand, whatever you want to do uh, through the chat. The teacher can turn on the chat or turn off the chat based on how the students are writing or reacting to questions. Uh, the teachers most likely want to put the chat so that only the teacher can see it so the students are not distracted while they're teaching. Uh, but there's just multiple things that you can play with and there's multiple tutorials on it. The easiest thing to do is to actually go download the program, try it out on your own a little bit. Here's a little gallery view so you can see everyone in the class if they have their camera turned on. Uh, you do not have to turn this option on, but you can. And uh, that way either they see you, uh, see everybody, but not everybody will have the camera turned on. So you do not have to be seen uh, by everybody if your background setting is not what you want to be seen by everybody. So thank you again for joining me on this very easy tutorial for Zoom. Uh, again, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. I'm putting together a whole bunch of science activities and videos that you can enjoy and do at home. Thank you again for joining me today and remember to keep science awesome.